Wimby. What's the difference between Wimby's supporting Cavs and Palos? Let's just keep it a book. No, you I'm talk. Hold saying, on. I, 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 I'm, I'm not putting him ahead of Palo. I'm just saying you keep no. on bringing up this Wimby game. Like no. he wasn't just on. Like, like, come on, man. We, we got to keep it real. Let's keep it real. Wimby is 7 4. Wimby Hold got some. Now. This is bad. All bro. I'm saying is, now DJ. Did Palo ever have teammates that was hating on him and not giving him the ball at any point? Nobody was hating on him. Fuck all that. We, ain't finna bro, see, we can't bro, bro, here. We got video proof that shows he was wide <laughs> open in the paint and they looked him off and took a bad shot. When they they were like, they didn't have to do that. They took bad shots. But DJ, we're not going to sit here. We're not going to sit here and praise Palo. For coming, for first of all, shouldn't been down by no twenty goddamn points and no goddamn wizards in the first place. We're not gonna praise him for getting that, for, for overcoming twenty down to no sorry ass wizards and then kill uh-huh. this nigga for one game. I'm not and killing him for one now, game. If it was, if it was a, if it was like a, if it was going against a nigga that uh-huh. was just a bum, like okay, yeah. But Nick Sagan is another underrated up and coming starter that, that ain't enough people talking about. No, you right. I'm just, I'm just bullshit. But you got forty five put on you. You got forty five put on. You. It is. He, he, he. Forty five came into an injury. Wimby's out for like a week. Again. <laughs> 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 he forty five came into an injury. He did, and he was bro. Sin Goon was talking his shit in the, in the post game interview. He even cussed. He just like say, bro. He said, man, he's too skinny. He say, uh, he's tall, but I just put him under the rim. He's literally saying this. Like y'all don't think these young. Hold up, hold up. This is what I'm saying. Y'all don't think these young players competitive. When Palo played uh, Victor Wimbe, you know, Palo, he killed them too. I'm saying I love, I understand what Wimby might be, what he could become. But the fact that we just are penciling him in to be this generational top 10 guy of all time, the best player in the league, say, though, these young man is not boom. What? You looking, you looking at a say, all right. So, can y'all, okay, I'm going to ask y'all this. Can y'all guarantee me? Wimby will have a better career than Paolo, either team success or individual wise. Individual wise, it's not hard to see. Individual wise, I don't think it's not. He definitely can individual wise. That's that's not even a okay. question. Just, and that's just based upon nigga. That nigga don't get a thousand goddamn me blocks. Y'all remember? Y'all remember the, the hype that came around Anthony Davis? The hype that came around Cat. That's all I'm saying, bro. You gotta have to prove this. It's different. Not, it's no, different. Say, this, okay, yeah, those saying, two are this, those two are this, disappointing this in my thing. opinion. This is the only thing I'm saying, though. Like, we can honestly say right now, Rudy Gobert got a better resume than a lot of these top centers in the league. Mm-hmm. Like, this nigga got defensive player of the year awards, like, and that shit is better than what a lot of these other mm-hmm. centers have. Mm-hmm. So, individually, like, I don't think that's all that Wimby gonna get. He probably, he, I mean, depending on what happens later on down the line, I can see him getting at least one MVP under his belt. If he get, I mean, because I don't, Pop ain't gonna coach that nigga forever. So if he get the right nigga around him that get the most out of him, considering that he's that tall, but he has a small frame, which I'm mm-hmm. not surprised that Sagan said that. Uh, old boy said that because that, that was the main thing we was worried about. That the nigga is small, and if mm-hmm. he got a and shit, we seen that Sagan and he ain't even one of the top niggas in the league we talk about. Mm-hmm. But we can sit here honestly say that Rudy Gobert. <laughs> Has a better record, a better resume than a lot of these top centers in the league. There's only what oh. two, three that might be better than him right now, as far as resume. Uh, I'm saying it's too many people just penciling Wimby in when there's a whole bunch of young players around his age that I'm not counting now. That's all I'm saying. We oh, well, the young guys, well, look the what young he's guys doing. You still got in. You still got uh who else under around that that age? K hell no. But you still got Ant. You still got Paolo. You still got goddamn. I ain't gonna say shit, J Dub. But you still got okay. I'm saying history is written by the winners. When we gonna have to win? He. I understand. Hold on, because Devin Vassell a twenty point scorer. He he really he was and he is. Keldon Johnson is still getting you about 17 points off the bench. They moved him to the bench. He was their best player two years ago. Like, real. And what's what's that 20, saying about them like two know. years ago? Devin Vassell averaged 20 in this league. Keldon Johnson has averaged 20 in this league. Jeremy Sohan, everybody hate him. Everybody talk shit. But that dude still is uh, one of the most versatile defenders, a good rebounder. 
and he's a good. He's gonna be a good role player. That, that you got great ideas. I'm saying when you look when I'm me just watching basketball, just the pure impact wise, everywhere I've seen Paolo play since high school till now, he's been that guy in his age group. That's all I'm saying. Wimby, when you look at his rookie year, they ain't did nothing. They don't. They he's not affecting the win loss column like he should. They've been relatively healthy. What do you when Paolo got do? here, we never talked about the magic. Nobody cared about the magic at all. Franz Wagner was look like he oh he gonna be a, he gonna be a role player. Woo, woo, woo. He gonna be a top end. Woo, woo. Cole Anthony people was ready to get him up out the league. He was like they number one option for a minute. Nobody was talking about nobody on Orlando. That's all I'm saying. And for what he's been doing his rookie year to now, I'm just saying, bro, I'm not just going to pencil Wimby in to be better than Palo. When Palo has showed me since high school to do, get into a Final Four to now, uh, hey, I'm just saying, bro, he going to have to show it. I'm, I'm done talking about Wimby until he showed me something that actually means something. Ain't so this his, the same. So his games as same. a rookie. I mean, but if we going to do that, we might as well – we got to – also remember, this is his first year. That nigga Paolo wasn't teeing up and shit his first year. That's my problem. Yes, he was. They beat Boston <laughs> twice. They beat Miami. They was they, what, they, what, 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 what record they finished with? DJ? Losing. Hold on, hold on. You you talking about hold on, hold on. we need to hold on, hold on. win? Paolo did not win. Now, if we could have yeah, Paolo had one whoa, of the whoa, biggest whoa. jumps to yes. Shaq from his from his uh from they from his when he first got there, they had one of the biggest jumps since I Shaq in terms like of win loss column. A conversation that needs to be had after like next year if we see if Wimby can really get his team winning in year two. That's all I'm saying. Bro, they is one year apart. That's one, okay. I, I guess we just gonna act like Wimby just Bro. the youngest nigga in the world. Last I didn't year, say he was the youngest year, nigga, but we still didn't remember this is his first year. Oh. Nigga, we had to, nigga, and we, I know we gonna get into, okay. we ain't, nigga, this ain't Jason Tatum we talking about. The team was bad when he got there. The team, the team, say, bro. The Spurs were, can we give this nigga a year? That's all I'm saying. Give him a year, <laughs> and if he bad next year, then let's, then, 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 then let's get on his head. That's all I'm, I'm saying. I'm not on his head. I'm saying, don't, we, this is what I'm saying. We're gonna I, automatically. Okay, how about this? I'm not crowning him like the niggas you're talking about. Okay. I, okay. I, 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 I ain't crowning yeah. him like the niggas you're oh. talking about. That, that, that's why I'm talking the way I'm talking. I okay. ain't crowning nigga. I, I, I see the situation that he's in. He's in oh. year one. Now, if you want to do this Paolo Wimby comparison, we can do this in Wimby's second year. And if these niggas are still ass, then we can easily have this co- this comparison and conversation. But yeah. The Magic had some impressive moments last year. They did. They did pretty much beat Boston, who we was all talking about was supposed to be the, one of the best teams in the league. Like that was one of the more impressive things they did last year. I will give you that. Mm-hmm. But say, man, I'm I, I, I'm I'm right there with Ray. I, I, it's only so much I can try to you know judge when I clearly see niggas on the nigga is <laughs> hating on this nigga. The nigga seven throw down there on a the nigga that's six ten, and you don't want to at least throw throw the ball up. And hey, you trying to hold on a second? You trying to hype up who he got around him? Talking about Vassell, a twenty point scorer, uh, and, and then did that in the NBA, bro. These people you bragging on are the same people that Pop said I'm still teaching them stuff that they should have learned in in high school. <laughs> They don't even know how to play basketball. They, they just know how to they know how to score, but they don't know how to actually mm-hmm. play to win. Mm-hmm. Chris, Chris so when you got guys like, like this yeah. on your team, and you saying that Wimby supposed to come in and change the whole culture? That's crazy. And I was just I about pro- to say, like, I, I, heard, came to- I, I heard of a lot more niggas on the Magic uh, before Paolo got there, before a lot of them niggas. Bro, that's heard. fucking cow. Yes, I had. Nigga, yes, I heard about bro. I heard about I Cole Anthony and Wagner. I heard about Cole Anthony and Wagner brothers. I heard about I didn't know who Kelvin Johnson Paolo was. Until you told there. me about him. I didn't know who Devin Fassell was until you told me about him. Nobody was going out their way to be like, man, y'all see that Devin Fassell game? Nobody ever said those words. <laughs> like, honestly, just didn't bro, happen. I haven't known who anybody was on the Spurs since they got rid of Derek White, bro. Since they traded that nigga to Boston, I've literally not well, kept I, up I knew, with I, one single I, person, I, I, bro. I knew about I knew about Murray. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the, 
The team so Paolo they, inherited they, they was just as bad as the team Wimby inherited. They murdered him before or after him. <laughs> no, they weren't. Uh, no, they weren't. Look, no, I think he might have left. He might have left. Okay, but well, let me switch it up. I ain't know about nobody else. Hey, hey. Since since the John T. Murray and uh Derek White left, I ain't known about that nigga on the goddamn Spurs. But I can say I have I've known about niggas on the Magic, and a lot of reason why the only every everybody know about Cole Anthony is because that nigga decided to do a goddamn dunk contest in some teams. Now he was for in some game winners before that though. He I'm, was, I'm, I'm, but the casual, I'm, 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 the casual remembers that nigga for them teams. <laughs> but I'm, I'm I heard about me. Cole Anthony. I heard about Wagner before Pilo had got there. I ain't really move on. I ain't really know too much about <laughs> none of these niggas that San Antonio got. I'm gonna I'm I'm move on, but I'm gonna ask Lil Chris this, and y'all just gotta let us have this conversation real quick, Lil Chris. When it comes to inheritance situations, knowing the young players, when both these guys came on. What's the difference? And just in your opinion, before I look this one thing up. In my opinion, the Orlando Magic had players. They they acquired players that maybe didn't work out somewhere else, but they still had potential. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, the Orlando Magic players had a little bit more potential. Plus, they had like he like he said, Cole Wong, Cole Anthony, and Franz Ward. They, those are two top picks. What? Meanwhile, the Spurs, Devin, they had guys that were playing underneath the uh, the Derek White, Dejounte Murray, things like they weren't really as the main focal points. The Orlando Magic guys, they had time to be the focal points. They had time to run, the, let the offense be ran through them. While the other guys on the Spurs, they were sitting behind guys. And even then, it's okay. You can get twenty points a game when there's not many options around you. Not that I'm saying Devin Vassell is a great player. He he is a great piece, and you could say he's better than Wimby at this point right now. But I think Orlando was a little better than that. So if I told y'all before Wimpy got there, Keldon Johnson was a 24 point per game scorer, and Devin Vassell was a 21, 22 point per game scorer, versus when Paolo got to the Orlando Magic, they don't mean nothing to y'all. I, I get y'all saying, I don't care what Devin Vassell and Keldon Johnson do, they trash. I didn't know who they was. I, ain't I get that. y'all saying that. But can I just tell y'all the stats of these Orlando Magic players? Before bro got there, you had their leading scorer was Cole Anthony at 16 points a game. Franz Wagner, 15 points a game. You had a 24 point per game scorer in Keldon Johnson and a 22 point per game score in Devin Vassell versus a 16 point per game. I'm this all I'm saying, all I'm saying, and we can move on, is that. Paolo did not inherit a better situation than Wimby, bro. <laughs> Let's just keep it above. That's all I'm saying. Y'all can ha- y'all can feel I don't differently. Think that you can, I don't think we can. You can base all that just off scoring, though. Especially it's not just, off, bro. No, I'm, I'm or, saying when you talk about it, it's a joke. A, I'm talking about Paolo? when you're talking about somebody inheriting a better situation. You're t- like, I feel what you're saying about yeah. Cole was averaging this. He was averaging this, but. None of them niggas probably again when they were doing that, they were the what the first option on that team. Cole Anthony was and Franz Wagner was the second option. Okay. So mm-hmm. Cole Anthony has now been moved to the bench. He's not is he, he he's not averaging the same amount of points on the bench, is he? Bro, no, he's damn near playing terrible this year. Yeah, but you see, 12 points a game, 43 from the field, 32 from the third. Okay, so those 16 points clearly wasn't equating to winning basketball. Mm-hmm. So he gets moved, he's getting getting moved to the bench and not doing shit. So <laughs> clearly and he was the number one option. He and he should so he shouldn't have been in that role to begin with. You can't come off the bench as a six man and do nothing. When you mm. were getting 16 against everybody's first units, mm. but you had, but if we're gonna go, let's just say we go off of what Ray just said, that those two guys you're talking about, they knew how to score, but did not know how to play winning team ball. So, and I'm I, like, I ain't trying to say you wrong with anything that you just said, <laughs> but nigga, you got to think about it. The situation that San Antonio was in. They weren't finna win shit. So hell y'all finna go out here and get my buckets. 
What else do I have to do? This is what I'm saying. You have to still have the ability. 24 points is still 24 points in the NBA is what I'm saying. Okay, I, I, I'm, I promise I'm going to leave so you why, So hey, you feel that Wimby is the reason why he can't get 24 points no more? No, I'm saying when I'm saying, when I'm just looking at player for player impact on the game and who I'm going to say is going to have a better future outlook, everything Paolo touches turns to damn near gold in his basketball career, bro. And it, it's, it's undeniable. You go to do Coach K's last year, you're the best player on a Final Four team as a freshman. That means something in terms of basketball acumen. You go to the Orlando Magic where you your number one option is pushed to the bench and he's having one of the worst years of his career. He's not that good. And you literally changed the whole culture and we only, the only thing that changed is this one player. And you're a fourth seed in the Eastern Conference in your second year. He just turned 22. These are the things I'm talking about. And then we looking at like, oh, well, Wimby, man, Devin Vassell, he ain't shit, but he averaged 20 points, and he was the best player in that playing game that DeJounte Murray sold, and they really could have won against New Orleans a couple years ago. Devin Vassell was the best player in that game, and he's picked up, and he's really, he's one of the most underrated shooting guards in the league right now. Keldon Johnson, he's actually a good six man right now. I'm saying, bro, Paolo is one of them dudes, man. It's undeniable. So, yeah. I can say he's right now a better player than Wimby, and I can't say he won't be a better player than Wimby in the future. That's all I'm saying. I know what Wimby can be, what, but we don't respect what we see right now. And just if, if Wimby next year have a good year, we're going to automatically put him over guys that he don't deserve to be over with just because we think you should be up here. The same shit we did with LeBron. I'm just saying, yo, just what we think of you is going to put you above motherfuckers. That's all I'm saying. And it ain't going to be based off play. That's all I'm saying. Found some shit I love to do, so I can look comfortable. Searching for a peace of mind. Need that when it's time to rhyme. Perfect in every line. Any chance I get, and I know it takes time, but I would never quit.